you this prom makeup look. It is suitable for pretty much any color scheme that you're going to wear. It's just kind of general, but still really, really good for prom. And it's using all drugstore and like cheaper non-high-end products because prom can get so expensive. For those that you want to save by doing your own makeup, you totally can and make it still look fabulous and on a budget. If you want to see it, then please keep watching. I'm going to start by priming my face. I really like this e.l.f. one and it's very, very important to prime to make sure our makeup lasts. Next up using this NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe. Just going to brush out my eyebrows and fill them in so they're nice and fleeky for prom. I'm not going to get too into detail with my eyebrows right here, but I will link a video where I get more in detail. Next up, foundation. I really, really like this dewy and smooth one by Maybelline, but if you have more oily skin, then the matte one might be better for you. But I just put it all over my face, blend it in with a brush. Please use a brush, not fingers, to do your foundation. It will come out so much better. And then after this, I went in with the Real Technique sponge. It's very comparable to the Beauty Blender, but much cheaper, just for extra blending. Concealer, I love this Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. Just put it all over under your eyes, your T-zone, and use that same sponge to make it nice and blended so there's no creasing or anything like that and it'll just give some nice highlight in the t-zone area also blend it up into your actual eyelids to act as a eyeshadow primer so you don't have to get another product then i'm taking some of the concealer on this little flat brush to carve out my eyebrows a little bit more and make sure they're extra defined before setting them and it's just going to make your eyebrows look extra good and extra flaky and then I'm just going to go ahead and set my eyebrows with this elf colored setting gel. Then we can go ahead and set our whole face with this Rimmel Stay Matte. I'm using it in transparent. It's really really good at keeping your face matte in case you're dancing and your foundation and concealer won't slip and slide all over your face. And set with that. Next up this product by Milani is really good. It can bronze up your face. And also give you kind of a glowy finish as well. So I'm just putting this in normal bronzing areas. You do not need to put bronzer all over your face. Just up on the temples of your forehead. And kind of over your cheekbone areas. And blend onto your neck of course. Moving on to eyeshadow now. For this we're going to use the Carly Bible palette. I'm going to pick this shade as a transition shade. With just a big fluffy brush like the one I'm using. And just put it all over the crease area. It doesn't have to be super nice. The Carly Bible Palette is by BH Cosmetics, which is not the drugstore, but it's super, super cheap, and I really recommend BH Cosmetics. It's really, really good at a good price. Now, this little purple brush, I'm using more of a defined crease brush to get right into the crease underneath that first shade, and it's getting right, right into the crease in the outer V. As you can see, even though it's purple, it's just going to blend in and make a nice, natural look defining our crease and just be slow with this and take your time and then I'm using that first brush to blend the two colors back together taking this highlighting shade I'm going to put it on the lid now as you can see it's super super pigmented and then the highlight one next to it I'm just going to put a little bit on top so it's not quite as golden now I'm going to take this dark brown with a very very small brush and doing very small movements to just start carving out an outer V area and into the crease. And again, just be very, very slow and take your time with this because you don't want it to come out muddy. Just do small motions to make a little V right in the outer of your eye. And then taking that other brush and blending that all in. Make sure it's nice and blended because that is the key to eyeshadow. It comes out like this. Now that same purple shade, I'm just going to put it right under the lash line and then took a little bit more of that golden-y highlight shade and put it kind of more in the inner corner of the eyes and blended that underneath. Taking this matte cream white shade as a brow bone highlight and then the highlighty shade in the inner corner to highlight there. I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Mega Liner to line my eyes. It's really, really cheap, but it's a very good eyeliner and it lasts quite well. And I'm sorry this didn't focus very well, but just do eyeliner however you feel comfortable. Same with mascara. I was going to do falsies, or I mean, um, false lashes, 
but I kind of forgot. But you generally don't have to, but you can if you want. It's the appropriate time to wear false lashes. But mascara works good too. And I use these two falsies and Maybelline, I mean CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Then I decided I need a little extra bronzer, so I used this one from the Carly Bible Palette. And a little goes a long way. You just need a little bit on your brush, and you just blend, blend, blend that color out, and it becomes a very nice bronzy glow on your face. For blush, this Milani Luminosa one is so, so beautiful. I think it's perfect for prom. It's a nice peachy, glowy shade. Just putting it on my cheeks. I put a little too much, so I just blended it out with my powder brush, but no powder on it. Then for highlights, I use this one from the Carly Bible Palette. came out really nice, just nice and glowy. Cheekbones, nose, I put a little on my forehead. Cupid's bow. Then we want to open our eyes to a trick. It's kind of gross, sorry, but use a nude eyeliner in your waterline. And to make sure it lasts longer, get all the wetness out with a cotton swab like I did. Now I'm lining my lips with a nude pencil by Milani. You don't want to overline or anything, but lining your lips will help your lipstick to last throughout the night, so that's why I'm doing it. And then I picked out this matte shade by Milani. It's very, very pretty. The only thing is you want to make sure your lips are exfoliated and not to chap before you put it on because it will show. And that is the finished look. Guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed it. Have an amazing time at prom, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.